Welcome back to part two of my playthrough of Civilization VI. Uh, if you recall, if you watched the last part, we've just taken out the first of two Japanese cities, and we will be getting Kyoto next. Then, I guess, going back to trying to peacefully expand our lands, but first, we must commit more murders! My city says Rome get a free monument, but obviously not ones that I capture, which is a shame. We did get a free road, though, an automatic road, when we captured this, and there will be, I think, a trading post here as well, which is nice, very nice. What do we want to build here? I think I feel like we have enough military units. We should upgrade as many of these slingers to archers as we can, which I think will, looks like it'll be both of them. Uh, yeah, I think with... These warriors... Can you get out of the way? No. I think with these this number of warriors and archers, we'll actually be fine for taking that city. Um, we could definitely use a builder here. Uh, I do kind of want a settler, because I definitely want to found somewhere down here relatively soon. I think I'm not going to try and pump out more military units. Do I want the trader? I mean, we don't really need it. The settler is going to take a long time to build. Is there anything... I mean, I, th I think we'll go for the builder, because that'll actually be able to do something to increase our production a bit here, which will be... which will be nice. Do we actually want any of these policies uh, quickly? No. I'm going to get mysticism just because it's fast, and we don't particularly need any of these things. I kind of want to... Uh, heal up these warriors in my own territory before we move out. But I think with three archers and four warriors attacking Kyoto... Uh, oh, shit, they just put out another settler. I'm going to get even more cities out of this than I thought. But, more importantly, I should see if it's coming this way I can capture him. Oh, man, i got to try and i got to try and get this settler. Well, so much for taking the time to heal my dudes. Ah, we'll, we'll let the rest of these, these other two warriors we will heal up. But we gotta try and go after this settler. Mmm... It's not good enough, Japan, because, like, I'm just gonna completely annihilate you. I have no reason to stop. Basically, this early in the game, no warmonger penalty. Uh, Kyoto's not in a super good position. Oh, we'll have a holy site, so we might actually be able to get a religion after all. Just because of that. Ooh. Kind of want to take that. Okay, so they're hiding the settler in their city. Uh, I want to set up so I can steal this builder. <laughs> and I guess we're just moving. We're just moving on. This city straight away with everyone who is not hurt. This will be easier to siege. There's no river or anything in the way, so I just need um, I need a warrior here and a warrior here, for example, and it would be under siege. But I will have more than I even will actually need to besiege this. And I'm getting a free settler out of the deal, too. Um... Which means I'll be able to decide where I want to found my next city. This is going... This is going smashingly, actually. So if I move this guy around, he will now be under siege. Uh, you're going to just keep chasing that builder. I wonder what happens... I don't actually know what happens... Uh, if I take this city, which is their last city, and that builder is still sort of running around. I don't know if I get the builder, or if he just disappears. Not sure. But this looks like it's going to be a short fight. So we're, we're going to be in great shape going forward, in fact. Which is absolutely smashing. Uh, why is this not... Sieged? Oh because it has water access. I didn't think they'd be able to use the water access to avoid being under siege before they were able to use boats, but obviously I was wrong. That's going to make this a little bit trickier, because I have no way to zone of control that water tile. 
I mean, they may actually know sailing, but uh, I don't know. Uh, but I think I'll still just be able with with this number of units. I think I'll be able to out damage Kyoto's healing relatively easily. I'm taking it all, Hojo. I'm taking it all. You might say I love to take it. But I think that sort of gives the wrong impression. Uh, occupied, right, so that won't grow until this war is over, which will be relatively soon. Yep, relatively soon. Maybe, maybe next turn, probably not this turn. Actually, possibly this turn. How, how much damage could each of these dudes? I think I can get it this turn. Well, you know, I never said I was going to be a good neighbor. They did accept my delegation, which was nice of them, but... Well, they're gone now. The uh, historical event, of course, of Japan being conquered by the Romans, 2400 BC. I don't really want to kill you personally, Hojo. Like, I, I mean, I'm kind of done now. I got, I got all your shit. But if you want to die, I guess, I guess you have like strats for that. Okay, I think that builder is just gone, which is a shame because I could have I could have used the extra builder, but that's okay. Uh, and yeah, obviously I will be keeping this. Cool. Where do we want to settle? I do definitely want to get this city down to the south of the Rome, both for sort of border security and because it's going to be a good spot. Um, so maybe this tile, although that won't get me uh, Yosemite. Like if I want to get Yosemite, I kind of have to put it. I mean, that'll still only get me access to. Uh, it's not too bad in terms of if I build it right here. It's a little bit close to Rome in terms of sort of overlap, but what I've found thus far is that workable sort of area overlap is less of an issue in this game than in Civ 5 for. A variety of reasons. I don't know. It, like, I mean, one of the one of the big things is your cities don't tend to grow to like thirty two population. At least they didn't in my last game. Uh, so there's a little bit less of an issue of sort of running out of workable tiles. How far? Yeah, like Seoul can only just barely. I obviously I don't want to found a city anywhere in here because there's no fresh water. I mean, you can put down an aqueduct near one of these mountains. Like, for example, if I found the city here, and I could build an aqueduct on this tile to fix most of the low housing, but we're going to be looking at pretty poor growth early on. Then again, we do have our aqueduct. We have the baths as Rome, which is actually much better. Actually, maybe that's where we want to found it. It's considerably less overlap with Rome, and we get to take advantage of every tile surrounding uh, surrounding this wonder assuming soul doesn't expand there first but if they do we can always murder them so i think that's i think that's going to be the spot i definitely do want to send somebody with the settler i'm just going to put a pin here so that i know what i'm doing city don't do that steam city yeah i'll definitely want to send a warrior with them because i don't have intel at all on whether or not there are barbarians there so that's all, that's all done, warfare-wise. We're, we're good. Uh, I'm thinking we could just crank out another settler and keep expanding. I'm kind of inclined to do that, but we don't have the intel yet. I also kind of want this campus, but I think we got to get the scout, and we need to scout more in our south and, uh, and find out what the deal is with that. 
repair the monument because it's quick. And yeah, we did get this holy site. So that's pretty cool. We're going to be getting points towards a great profit now. How is the great profits looking? Nobody has gone super far towards any. We probably need to build a shrine there. It is getting plus one faith, so I think that's going to give us one point towards a great profit per turn. We will shove on... Mysticism is the mistake of an accident. It would be nice to get a religion, so... Oh, right, I don't have a government where I can actually... ...have a wild card policy slot yet. I would really like to shove on this policy, but obviously I cannot. While we're here, I don't think I'm going to be building any more military units immediately, so we can probably... Uh, get rid of a goge, maybe put on survey. You know, I'm not gonna rule out a, uh, another quick war with Sol or something like that, or even with Gilgamesh, possibly, if assuming that was Gilgamesh. Because we already have the size of army we do. We, we kind of want to use it. We don't want that all the production we put in there to sort of go to waste. We want to get as much mileage out of our standing army as we can. So I think what we might consider... What is the bonus, the unique bonus from Soul? When you enter a new era and one random Eureka from that era. See, that kind, that kind of sucks as well. So I think we will probably actually just take Soul as well. Once all these dudes are healed up. I think we will uh, we will plan to continue our war. They're going to have more units than Japan did, most likely, but I still think that'll be a relatively easy capture for us. Let's start moving these archers in that direction. And all of you guys, just fortify until healed. Um, I was going... Oh, you have a... You have a promotion? I forgot that once you hit fortified, till, they changed that from Civ Five. It used to be that you could just wake a dude and still take an action, but that's no longer the case. Uh, I'm going to just send the settler down unescorted, I think, but I'll use this scout to make sure that they will be safe. So we want to get the next type of government as quickly as possible, political philosophy. So, in fact, let's just, let's just click on political philosophy. Send envoy. It's too bad you can't save your envoys. Oh, I can save my envoys. That's good, because I'm not going to bother putting them into Seoul. <laughs> I don't, uh... I didn't realize I could save those. That's actually good to know. Battle cry. And you have a promotion available as well. We would like to get this range strength versus district defenses, because that's that's also against walls. Although, Soul's not going to have walls, so let's just do volley. I said, let's do volley. You also have a promotion. Do you have one? Do any of these guys have promotions? No, okay. So that's it promotion-wise, but that's good. As soon as those warriors are healed up, I think we're going to go put some heat on... Good old soul. Seal? Oh, I always just say soul. Hopefully that's correct enough and nobody is mad. No hour of life is wasted. I'm wasted. Actually not disturbingly sober just at the moment. Try and kill this scout. Hopefully that's enough. Yeah, good. And you will be going over here, just to make sure that our settler will actually be safe going off by himself down there. We would not want to lose him. Right, we're going to want to get a shrine up in Kyoto, because I think we are actually going to be trying for a religion, so we'll go ahead and get astrology now. We are getting a great person point, though, from that, yes? Yes, okay. And it looks like we might get to be the third, although somebody built Stonehenge, so we, we might get to be the third fourth religion. We should get to set up a religion, though, which is good. I'm not a huge religious player. We won't be going for a religious victory or anything like that, but it can definitely be uh, advantageous, particularly just to block anyone else from getting the religious victory, pump out a lot of uh, Inquisitors. I kind of want another scout. 
but I do sort of want the campus as well. I'm guessing the AI is going to be having huge science boosts. That is usually the case. Like, what's... Oh, yeah, I haven't met these people, so I can't see their science output per turn. But I am actually ahead of one player who's still alive. Uh, and the AI, I'm guessing, will have started with a bunch of free techs based on past Civ games. So maybe... Maybe I don't need this campus straight away. And maybe we do go ahead and get the, another scout, or even a trader, because traders are super good, but... I don't really like having unused trade routes, because it's just like free extra shit. Let's, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get that trader. I don't know, not 100% sure that was the best move, but I think it's a reasonable move. Let's start moving these troops down. I want to scout out as well, Soul, and just make sure if they have a lot of units, then this could be problematic. Or if they have, like, say, something kind of nasty standing in the capital. So let's, let's actually just move these dudes down and get intel. I don't think Seoul will declare war on us preemptively, so I don't need to be worried too much about being out of position. And yeah, this, this city that I found here is going to not have the best uh, start, but it should be okay in the end. Do I want to get the Oracle? Or the Broracle, as it's also known. Mm, it's 93 turns. It's not worth it. Uh, builder? I'm thinking Builder. Or Scout. There's not much here we can actually improve, though, because this is just surrounded by Tundra, which we can't build farms on or anything like that. The stuff here that can be improved already has been. We could use a Builder in Fukuoka, but it's already building one. Yeah, okay, so we'll get, we'll get the scout here in Kyoto. That should be good. It's nice of them to put down a road for me from Rome. Oh, yeah, okay, that's going to be easy peasy. Easy peasy. No, you're not going anywhere else this turn. No river or anything, so two units can siege this, and... I can shoot at it with my archers. There are a lot of hills around it, but I think we'll be okay. I'm a Sagittarius, and with a strong I fucking hate that quote. Begins with a strong, well-educated workforce. I get that it's a joke, but I don't know. It's just an annoying quote. Uh, we are about to have a traitor, so do we maybe want caravansaries? I think not. We might want this extra production towards builders, but we're, we're not going to be really spamming builders. We're kind of just getting that one. I am thinking I'll spam settlers relatively soon. I think we're going to leave these policies as they are for the moment, because we may decide we need more military units relatively soon as well. Really depends on how this all goes down. Ooh, I thought this was just stone. It's actually more that's nice. Rome is about to get fucked up by barbarians. That's going to be okay, though, because I'll just I'll crank a couple of units out in Rome after that trader finishes. And then we'll be super short up on defenses, which will be nice. I uh, could get sailing. I mean, these crabs will be in our border soon. We're going to want mining, actually, to take advantage of this marble and this marble, and yep. Mining it is! Get on the road. So I want to get these warriors in front. Let's take a look at the strategic view. It's a little bit hard to see, I find, on the sort of standard map where hills are. So there's quite a lot of hills around Seoul. They're building a campus, which is cool. I'd like to have a campus. Uh, so we should be able to fire, we should be able to shoot from here and here and here. So those will be the positions of our three archers. Hyun and Hyun and Hyun. So you have to go, you're gonna have to go around. No, don't go, don't go that way, you fucking idiot. Just stay there for now, I guess. And in terms of warriors, it doesn't really matter. Anywhere where they can get through. 
Actually, why don't I, why don't I do this a little bit more sanely? Move dudes around like this. Okay. Cool. Time is it. This part will go for another 14, 15 minutes or so. Then I'm going to go for a walk. Maybe come back and record some more. Kind of a pointless update, considering I'm not live streaming, perhaps. But nonetheless, I'm sure you enjoyed it. We could use more housing in Rome, which... We could do with a builder if we can clear a marsh, which I have no idea if we can or not to start with, or if we need a certain technology for that. Yeah, we will need some technology for that, sure. We probably... Hmm... Okay, irrigation. So we can clear this marsh and start putting down farms near... Oh, no, we need to get military units. We need to get military units because we're about to have barbarians. So we'll just get a warrior and a archer there. A warrior and an archer, sorry. There, and then that should be good. This dude is pissing me off. He's in the way. I really want to move troops through there. Whatever. Whatever. stay there for now. This settler will be nice and safe. That's good. It's too bad there's no, like, river here or anything. Although there might be, I guess. I haven't scouted. I guess that's where I should send my scout over to next. Who is going to benefit most from this trader? I think Kyoto is both growing and producing quite slowly, so let's send send this trader up to Kyoto. Start our trade route from there. Yeah, let's just check over here. Uh, there, is, so there's a coast right here. We got some coastal region, which would give us a little bit of water to start with. But again, it's not super. If this is a coastal tile, maybe? Maybe? It's a bit close to Seoul, then. No, I think we'll found this where it is and just count on putting a baths in here next to the mountain. Which takes a bit of production, but that's okay. And we're almost fully set up here. There's no point in us declaring war before we're sort of fully positioned. We want this we want this to be a short fight. You can just stay there. You are going to move next turn. In fact, I think next turn I'm going to declare war because my plan was to move this guy in here so the archer could take position. Uh, it'll be a couple of turns before we get the siege going, which is kind of annoying, but whatever. Uh, trade route to Rome is very slightly better than the trade route to Fuku Fuck, fuck you, Okea. Yeah, fuck you, Okea. I guess that's what that place is called. Who deserves more credit than the wife of a coal miner? Hmm. Bronze working? Currency? Let's get bronze working, because we did get that, uh, yeah, mines over strategic resources. Iron will be the first one of those where we can possibly exploit that. Alright, so let's get it started. Let's do it this turn. Should be no warmonger penalty. Ah, shit, we advanced to the classical era. How annoying. We will get a bit of a warmonger penalty for this, but I'm still going to do it. <laughs> I'm still going to do it. Because I think the advantage we will gain from this is going to be worth it. Uh, let's try and kill this douchebag off.
you may as well fire. I mean, the city is just going to heal itself anyway, but you may as well shoot. Uh, you, I guess, I guess go there. Oh dear, shouldn't have stood there. <laughs> Stupid, dude, like, it's a rookie mistake, I do it all the time, though, like, why would I just, why wouldn't I just move him one tile at a time? Why would I just courageously into the fog of war like that? It's just a stupid idea, but I did it anyway. Uh, this place is gonna have some early growth troubles, I, but there's a lot of good, there's actually great places to put farms here, so let's get a builder that'll get us some early housing. We'll just build three farms with this builder, so that'll make sure we have sufficient food here and also get us an extra point of housing so we will be able to grow this city uh, we still can't quite actually put this place under siege but we will be able to next turn we're gonna start moving we're gonna move these warriors around so we are actually besieging this place which means there's not really any point shooting just at the moment so may as well get, get more promotion. Actually, if I'd shot with both of these guys, they might not have fully regenerated. Ooh, Rome can build the Hanging Gardens in only 14 turns, and I do like, I really like having good city growth. I'm a little bit worried about possibly a bunch of barbarians fronting up. We'll be able to buy an archer with gold in five turns, assuming we don't spend it on anything else. I do really like the Hanging Gardens. The Oracle's quite good, too, but... I don't know how many... Like, I'm not getting any sort of early districts here in Rome, so it's not the best place for it. Hanging Gardens, though. Yeah. I think you can tell I want it. Put it over here. That's a pretty quick build for a wonder, so I expect we will get that, no problem. Uh, you just, just fortify there. I reckon if I fortify that scout, he'll do a decent job in this battle. Or the, the warrior might just leave, that's always possible. You go there, and you go there, and the city will be under siege, which is perfect. And now we begin the shooting of Seoul. <laughs> yes, that terrible historical tragedy. On the plus side, this is, you know, make the situation a bit simpler down the road, politically, shall we say. Then again, I guess that there is no the rest of Korea in this context, so maybe it doesn't maybe it doesn't matter. Okay, we're gonna produce an archer here and send it to Rome to help with the fact that I am expecting Rome to get molested by barbarians pretty soon. This is marble, right? Not just stone. Good. Very good. Get that connected. Can never have too many amenities. Amenities. Whatever, fuck it. Yeah, might as well. Might as well put some damage on here. This is a very different kind of game than the way I usually play. I'm actually, I tend to be quite a passive and peaceful player. But obviously not this time. Just kind of murdering everyone near me. Off to a good start, though, which is nice, because uh, you do want it on Emperor. I'm not the best Civ player in the world, shall we say. I've been getting better. In, in Civ Five. I was, like, trying to win my first Immortal game. I mean, there, there are sort of cheese ways to, to get that, but using no cheese, just sort of playing on standard kind of map types and, you know, random opponents and all that stuff. Yeah. So I have one on Emperor in uh, in Civ Five, so you know it wouldn't be unbelievable to win. I really thought that was going to capture the city, but whatever. We'll just we'll just do it like this. Ah, 
awesome. Yeah, so that will have given me a bit of a warmongering penalty, but, you know. At least we get no penalty for keeping it. Alright, that's going to be the end of this part, the second part, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm actually going to stop playing just for the moment. Call this, uh, call this YouTube Game. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll see you guys next time. Till then, Trouble T Cat out.